Albert Camus, who wrote a book called The Rebel, Rebellion. Remember we were talking about Rebellion? He had a book called, he had a book called The Rebel, so I took a look at that book, and there's this one particular passage that I found really interesting. This is where my talk's going to get a little dense. Can you bear with me for the dense part? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, it's going to get a little dense, but I hopefully it's going to be worthwhile on the other side, and then I promise we'll, we'll have a lot more talking, a lot more fun. All right, so he had some stuff to say about rebellion. He said, he talked about moral contradictions. Remember this conversation thing I'm talking about, dealing with contradictory things. He says, as for moral contradictions, they too become soluble in the light of conciliatory value. Don't worry about that. Let's move to the next slide. <laughs> This, is, this is sentence blew me away, this first sentence. Virtue cannot separate itself from reality without becoming a principle of evil. Okay, and now what I really mean by evil is suck it to. Uh, I wanted, can, do we, can we play that Discord slide? That, that one, the, the one we, the video we couldn't play before? Damn, damn. Okay, can we flip to the last slide because I have it written down what she said. The very last slide, the very last slide. Yeah, oh, but is there, there's no way to skip to it. Okay, just go to, yeah, just go to the last slide. Go, 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 go. Fast, 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 fast. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just can you just click on the last slide? Yeah. This is what she said. This is a this is a fan, maybe one of you recognized her, I don't know, but who was in the, you know, Bronies, the unexpectedly blah 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 documentary. <laughs> anyway, this is what she said and I loved it. She said, and she was addressed as discord, she said, today's world of utter chaos needs actual messages of integrity and harmony, and it doesn't have to suck. <laughs> right? So when I, so I love that she said that. So when, when, when Camus is talking about evil, I'm talking about suckitude. Like what makes something suck. <laughs> so let's go back to what C Cabellian, uh, Camus had to say. Go, go, go. Okay, so back to the previous slide. Okay, so virtue cannot separate itself from reality. So in other words, I think a lot of times children's shows just present virtue, like morality, like this is how you're supposed to behave, little boys, this is how you're supposed to behave, little girls, and don't necessarily engage with issues that feel real to us. That's what Camus, translated to Discord woman, would say that's what makes something kind of suck that there has to be some connection to something real, that something means something to people, right? That it's not just trying to teach a kid something because this is how you be good, right? But how do you wrestle with something that's really happening that people can really relate to, that uh, that's what keeps it from suck land, all right? But he also says, he also says, skipping down, okay, let's go to the next slide. Okay, so moderation, which is, this is, this is the irony that he's dealing with. That actually being moderate, staying in between the place between virtue and reality is, is, is where rebellion really happens. He says, it teaches us that at least one part of realism is necessary for ethic. Pure and adulterated virtue is homicidal. So he's saying, it's going to make something suck if you're just trying to be good. If you're just trying to say, this is how goodness happens. There has to be some complexity in there. At the same time, He's saying, the other, other thing is necessary for all realism, cynicism is homicidal. If you just deal just strictly with how reality is, just like, re here's what's real, really is, reality is really gritty and dark and, and, and people are horrible and blah, 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 blah. If you're into that cynicism, he's saying that also creates suckitude. That you can't go the other way completely. You know, so he's saying that rebellion really exists in this middle place where you're dealing with, here's, I'm trying to say this is what's good in the world and I'm also trying to say, deal with the way the world really is. And it, that creation is a, com that <coughs> is, is a, is a uh, conversation between how we wish things were, how, how we think should be, and how things really actually are. Um, and so, anyway, that's what I'm trying to do, at least that's, what makes this show engaging for me is because I feel like I have a bit of an opportunity to do that. So let's go on. Go, go, go. Keep going, keep going. Skip